Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where I will be showing you how to update the individual SEO settings for each of the site pages on your Wix website in the editor. This is part of a special series here on the Wix Training Academy channel, the SEO series, where we are showing you the best tips and really how to optimize the SEO for your website so that you can generate more leads and sales. If you haven't yet already, make sure that you go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when the next video in the series drops. Okay, so how this is gonna go is the rest of the videos here in this series, including this one, are going to be more like bite-sized training videos where we are showing you how to actually do the implementation of some of the concepts. Now, if this is the first video that you're seeing, we do recommend you go back and watch the first couple of videos in the series which are really going to give you the concepts and the strategy behind the SEO, which will be necessary before you're able to successfully move forward. Now, when we're coming to this portion of the training, you should also have already connected the domain to your website and you will have wanted to set up your keywords. And again, those are the videos that are located at the beginning of this series and we show you how to do that. Now, you're going to pull up the dashboard. So this is the Wix website dashboard for the site that we're working on. And you're also going to want to pull up your site editor. And I'm gonna show you how to get to that screen in a second here. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna go in and edit the menus and pages, and you're going to update the SEO settings for each individual page. We do that by opening up the site menu. When you've selected the page name, you'll notice the three dots pop up, and you can either click on settings and then SEO basics, or you can just go ahead and click on SEO basics. Both of those items will pull up this tab right here. It's just that the SEO basics quick starts you on this view. Now, if you want to access the dashboard, the easiest way to get to the SEO wizard is by doing that from this view right here. So you can just go ahead, click that and pull up the SEO wizard. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is set the homepage URL. Um, that means that that is what, so your homepage URL is where, so pretend that my domain's connected. You wanna make sure that this looks correctly. Um, we're also going to edit the page title. So what we're doing here, and for the intents of this training video, I'm Sandra Fisher. I'm a relationship coach for women, and I have a podcast. So I'm going to title my homepage, and I'm going to title that with my name or Okay, so if you're building a personal brand, you're a coach, a consultant, you're going to have this be your personal name here or your business name. And then we're going to add in those keywords that are saying the main priority keywords that relate to your business. So for example, relationship coach podcast. Okay relationship coach and podcast. All right. The next thing that we want to have is we want to make sure that you are correctly adding in the meta descriptions for each one of the pages. Now, the meta description, this is the this is what describes the page and this is also what's going to be listed in the description when your site is being indexed by these search engines and specifically by Google. So, the goal is to make this description stand out and speak really and truly to the person who's searching for you online. This can mean the difference between whether your website's going to get clicked on or whether your competitor's website is going to get clicked on. Now, the questions that you want to answer must be relevant to that specific page, and you are answering who you are, what you do, and speaking to your 
you know, your perfect prospect when they're seeing this, right? So like, let's say if I go to Google and I'm looking for, you know, relationship coaches, I'm going to click on that title based off of the descriptions many, many of the times, right? So that's really where you want to make sure that you're being intentional with the copy that you are adding in to this space. Now, you are also going to be following the Wix SEO Wiz, the checklist for that. So you can see here underneath of step two of the SEO Wiz, it's saying to optimize your site pages for search engines. And it's kind of going to coach you through that. And you need to have a couple of different things. The title page name has to have your name and some keywords relating to it. And you also need to include keywords in the description of your pages meta description. Now, if I were just to write this and I were just to say Sandra Fisher, um, and I just do like keyword stuffing where I'm like relationship coach, podcast coach, you know, and it doesn't flow. Some people think like, oh, I'm going to stuff all my keywords into the description. Well, that's not going to work and it's probably going to, I don't know, misfire or backfire on you because what's going to happen is if like, let's say somebody sees that on Google and they're just reading like your random spewing of keywords, they're not going to click on that. And I know I talked about before, but what's really going to make you a successful lead generation expert is when you can become a mind reader and you're connecting to not only your core messaging, but you're connecting to the wants, the desires, the needs, and the desired outcome that your perfect prospect has. And that's what you want to clearly and effectively communicate here in the copy, aka the meta description of each page. Now, um, so my structure for that is I explain a little bit about what I'm doing. If it's the home page, I'm just gonna give generic info and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now, once I have done all of this, now keep in mind, I want to make sure that I'm going and doing this for every single page on the site. And depending on how many pages you have, this might take anywhere from one hour to four hours. I mean, but again, I want you to think of this as a time investment into your evergreen attraction strategies that are going to pay you out over and over and over. And especially because the longer that this strategy sets, the better it's going to get in the long run. And you're never going to get out of that like um, time service debt or like that hole and you never really get ahead unless you start investing in some of these long-term strategies now, okay? So that's why it's really important and I know some people are like, ah, oh, you know, I've gotta get leads, I need customers today, but you know, it's like, just, just take a little bit of time and this will pay you out in the long run. Okay. So make sure that you do that and go ahead and update the, the page description and the title for every single page. Now, if I were going to be having multiple services, I don't just want to copy and paste the same thing for every single page. I want to kind of custom tailor that copy for that service or for that page. Because again, when people are searching for you on Google and you are, you know, being stacked up against other people, you really want them to have a reason to click on you. And so you want to take the time to actually write that. Now, once you're finished, what you will do is go back in here into the SEO whiz section. And that's where you will then start um, to go through. And it will literally walk you through each page when all of the lights are green, that means that you have hit all of their SEO optimization checklists, okay? So, and you can see what needs to happen. So for example, on this page, it's saying, hey, you've got to set the title for this page or you've got to update a description on this page. So it's a really useful tool, especially if you are a beginner with SEO to have this checklist handy, okay? All right, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I would love to hear from you down below what your thoughts are. If you're going through this series with us, let us know how you're doing. This is meant to be an interactive experience and you can connect with other members of the community if you have questions or if you're enjoying this and you're just 
you know, really enjoying the series, let us know down below as well. The next video, we're going to cover how to update the social share settings on each page and why those are important. And yes, that is different than the SEO basics. Okay. So be sure to click subscribe and the bell so you get notified when the next video drops in the series. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you in the next video.